Hey, welcome back. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad today. Hopefully you'll be able to hear what I say fairly easily. Um, I wanted to talk today in this video about money and um, kind of what it means for your life and how, I guess how you should look at money if you want to become wealthy. A lot of people for whatever reason have this mindset, this mentality that having money is bad or that um, certain types of money are bad. And I wanted to talk about that because it, it isn't. Money isn't bad at all. Money is just energy. Money is ultimately, it's a form of love. And I'll talk about that in, in just a moment. But there aren't, there aren't really bad forms of money or bad types of money. There may be some not so good uses of money. Somebody in a previous video made a comment and said, that Bitcoin was you know, filled with dark money. And it was, just a, it was a bad thing. And if, if you think bad about something, then you obviously shouldn't invest into that thing or you shouldn't use that thing. That's not the way I look at it. Sure, there's some nefarious uses of Bitcoin, but there's some bad uses of US dollars and Canadian dollars and euros and yens. It's a bad uses of silver and gold too. Uh, it doesn't make those assets or those currencies bad. It ultimately is up to the intent of the person that is using money. Uh, that that really is what's good or bad. It's not the actual currency or asset that's bad. Um, so anyway, so let me talk about money as energy and money as love. Because if you want to become wealthy, you have to you have to release yourself, or free yourself from some mental blocks that are put into your head when you're just a little kid and you are preached to by society throughout your life about money in different ways that sometimes have a negative connotation and those things can hold you back. I know when I was starting, um, when I was about to start a business, I really had nothing. I was barely getting by. I was like my, in my early 20s is really my first business that brought in any kind of money uh, just paid to just pay the rent. I went to my dad who had been self-employed. He had started his own company and, and supported the family. And I said, dad, you know, I'm worried about, you know, if I become wealthy that I wouldn't be a good person. And he looked at me and he said, what are you talking about, son? <laughs> you know, uh, but that for whatever reason, that was a mindset that I had or that I was worried about at that point but you know he told me he had, he had a lot of clients who were bankers they ran small like small state banks or small regional banks and um, automotive shops and bars and pubs he would sell them pens and calendars and things like that for his business um, and he knew a lot of the owners and he said he said that the wealthy people that I know are really nice and that's what it took for me to, to get past a hurdle I guess in how I thought about money and how I thought about me becoming wealthy. So I needed that to be able to get over a hurdle to essentially get my permission to become wealthy. Uh, you might have hurdles as well, if you think about it, that you need to get over if you wanna become wealthy because there are opportunities right now in cryptocurrency especially to become wealthy in a relatively short period of time. And if you want to become wealthy and there should be no reason why you shouldn't want to get wealthy um, you know you need to you need to have the mindset that 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 you that being wealthy is okay and that money is good money is good all around I'm going to talk about how money is good all around in just a moment but first let me talk about money as a form of energy it's a form of transmission and I view it as a form of love and people are going to say well Ethan you know the the love of money is the root of all evil, <laughs> that bullshit line that we've all heard, which is bullshit. Uh, money is a form of love because appreciation is a form of love. And every time I buy something from somebody, if I pay them money for a good or a service, I am showing them appreciation for that good or service and I'm giving them money in exchange. They likewise are showing appreciation for the money and they're providing me with that good or service. So money is essentially a form of appreciation. It, it's much more than just a store of value and a means of transaction. It's a, it's an, an, 
energy of appreciation and energy of love. When you look at things that way, you get a bigger picture of what money means and why it's important and why it's all good. Um, everything that you do with money is good. Everything you do with money is good. Um, I'm gonna talk about how it is good because I've, I've thought about these things and I've kind of mapped out, you know, okay, is there any bad, bad ways where money could be used? The only bad ways that, that aren't great is when somebody uses money to do somebody else harm. But even at the end of the day, there's good that is being done. Somebody is being able to pay their mortgage. Somebody's able to put food on the table uh, to do something because of even that bad thing. So there's even some good there. Um, but no matter what you do with money, it's all good. Like if people talk about wealthy, one of the criticisms I've heard about really wealthy people is that, well, they'll just be greedy and they'll just park it in their bank account and just stick it in the bank. Not not give it away, not donate it, not spend it, not not make it active, I guess, in the economy. And what people don't understand is when you park your money in the bank, it does amazing things because through fractional reserve system, the bank's able to take that dollar, that single dollar that you put in and create seven to nine dollars out of the thin air and give that to somebody else in the form of a loan. So if I stick $100,000 in the bank, I'm helping to provide student loans, car loans, and mortgages to people who are dreaming of getting their first home or dreaming of getting into college or dreaming of getting a new car just by parking my bank or my money in a bank account. And everywhere else that you use money when you buy and sell, it's all good. Whether you invest it in, in a company, you're helping the company and the employees of that company, you're helping <clears throat> to put food in the table, to pay bills, to, to, to have a great life. Everything that you do with money is good. There, there's no bad use of money. I guess the only bad use is when you, when you have ill intent and you wish to do somebody harm and use money to do that. But again, it's not the money that's the problem, it's you if, if you're the one that's doing the harm. Um, so it's all good. So you gotta get past those negative blocks. You know, if you, if you want to become wealthy, you really need to think about how good money is and all the good that it can bring into the world. Even if you don't know what the hell to do with your money and you park it in the bank, it's doing an enormous amount of good. Um, one of the things that is important if you do become wealthy and you should start to practice this right away because if, if you want to become wealthy, you have to have good money practices is that you need to understand that <clears throat> It's vital that you understand the principles of saving and investing money and not just spending a bunch of shit um, uh, on, on things that you want because you're going to lose all your money if you, if you can't control it. They call this sudden wealth, wealth syndrome. If you get a million dollars or you win the jackpot, you win the lottery, um, <clears throat> a lot of people go bankrupt. And <clears throat> it's because they didn't have any experience in managing money and knowing how to use it. Because if you wanna keep money, you have to appreciate money. Money wants to be appreciated, right? It's a form of appreciation. You show appreciation when you use it. Um, and you're shown appreciation when, when you receive it. Um, but it wants to be appreciated. You need to know how to save it. You need to know how to invest it. You need to know how to multiply it, how to make it grow. And if you don't understand those things, Money's going to leave you. It's going to go to somebody else who does understand those things. So make sure that you that that you learn how to invest, that you learn how to save. Read books, read, listen to podcasts, watch videos. There's a ton of stuff out there on YouTube, a ton of books out there that can help you. Um, but on your path to becoming a millionaire or a zillionaire or a thousandaire, whatever it is that you want to be, whatever goal you set for yourself in life, you should do the legwork because work is always required. Even if it's something seems easy, it's not. It's because somebody had to do the legwork. They had to do the what was required to actually achieve that thing and, and hang on to that thing. You, you don't want to become a millionaire one day and then just lose it a month later. You want to understand how to how to hang on to your money and how to grow it over time so that you that you honor your money, you appreciate your money. You know, when you appreciate your money, that's showing honor to your money. Just like you appreciate people and you honor them. Anyway, that's why I want, wanted to cover in this video. <clears throat> there are 
a lot of things that we're, uh, I guess we are programmed with in society and that, that we hear on a regular basis if you watch the news. And I would recommend not watching the news very often, if at all. Um, but a, a, a lot of things come our way, excuse me. <clears throat> a lot of things come our way. And we're kind of thrown, we have thrown in our face, I guess the negative aspects of money and there's nothing wrong with money. Money is absolutely amazing. Like I, I, I don't, I don't think I'll ever have enough money because I know what I can do with money. Um, and so I'm always excited to learn about how to, how to invest w more wisely and the, the things I can do with money and how to work with money and manage money because I see all the good, good things that money can do and all the things that I and others uh, can experience because of money. So don't let anything hold you back in your path to financial freedom. You've got to examine any blocks that you have with regards to money if you want to become financially success, financially successful and you want to stay financially success, successful. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys are doing well um, with whatever it is that you're working on, wherever you might be. And I will see you in another video. I'm probably going to talk about Bitcoin Cash again in the next video here. Because uh, I got some comments from uh, some Bitcoin Cash folks in the last, last one that I did. So I'll probably do another one here today on that. But anyway, that's it for this one. Until I see you guys next time, good luck, God bless, Godspeed.